Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Olsen of Summer Hex, and welcome back to another episode of Director of Legends FM22 Beat, uh, non Beat Save, he's not the Beat anymore, <laughs> FM22 Journeyman Save, which is also a Director of Football Challenge, uh, with our manager Ever Danielle. Now, we haven't progressed to that far, it's only a day, um, from last episode where we joined Spartak Varna in uh, the second league of um, Bulgaria. Um, so yeah, we haven't progressed that far. We've only got one game today. Um, but if you have been enjoying so so far, even though there's not been many, you can like the video, subscribe. Uh, if you are one of those people who are not already subscribed, hit the bell for push notifications so you will never miss an upload. And also, if you are one of those people who are, have been enjoying the series, you can always share it with friends or family either by word of mouth social media or email any of that stuff it helps the channel grow it makes me really happy i can just thank you all for the support in the last few weeks since the start of fm22 we've gone from like 53 subscribers i think to 76 at this current time and that is just mind blowing the growth i'm so happy and i just want to thank all of you for this, so um, you can also oh yeah, you can also check out my Discord, Discord page link. Uh, you go enjoy the server, say hi to me and my friends, and the growing community on there. We've got three people I don't really know that much in it. Uh, two are YouTubers, uh, Brack Attack you might know, and FM Palette you might know. Really good people, so check them out as well if you want. Just search Brack Attack or FM Palette, or tell me to put in the description link uh, to their channels because they, they make really good content so check them out but yeah um, check all them out socials all that stuff so first thing we've got to do is introductions to squad I thought we'll do it on live on live um, so I'd like to I want to take this opportunity to introduce a new manager not wanted to make any promises um, table positive code of conduct positive Everyone's happy, some are reserved, but most have gone really up. Conversation appears to have positive. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, conversations appear to have a positive effect on several players' morale, which is good to see. And now we'll just skip ahead, probably have a press conference soon, and I'll probably do that as well. Like I said, we're only playing one game, which is against Ludogorets, the first game in charge of the, uh, Spartak Rana, just to see how we do. And then the next episode will be a transfer special. So this is January. We could, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be sitting ahead uh, and telling you about all the transfers while skipping while playing the matches in between. The matches won't be shown on camera, but they will be told about after they've been played. I just thought that'd be a good way to do a direct football journeyman where we're showing you that all the transfers as soon as they happen are live, which I think is a really cool idea. But yeah, we'll skip ahead now, either to the game or to the first press conference. See how it goes. See you in a bit. Right, we're back, and it's the game. Not the game. <laughs> it's actually the first press conference. Uh, between that time, I have gone through all the first team players and given them less training because I do do individual trainings now. Uh, I, it's took me since 2014 of playing FM to go from letting the coaches do it, all of them, the AI. For la this just la end of last year, last year's FM, to do the whole individual trainings myself. Uh, I mostly just let the AI decide, but uh, in terms of the coach reports. Uh, but what I do do is give everyone position training. So, say some players who are in who are more tacking. So I think what we've done, we've made it so some of these players can become wing backs um hit like the even pair off we've, we've currently training him to become a wing back on support because we need more wing backs and i don't trust the director football to sign any especially on the left um uh, so we're doing some on the left as well um but yeah let's see how it goes with the training but we've got the media meet the media i want to do this in front of you guys so let's join it and do it together we have any thoughts? Oh, I thought what we're doing, if we were patient, we'll do it. And I consider myself tally appropriate for this job. Uh, I'm looking forward to 
turn change or yeah, whatever yeah. um oh the focus time spent you know um whatever said <laughs> what approach will take you with your battery from staff expect to see some changes literally that's it okay i expected a lot longer i expected a long winded press conference but apparently not so probably now skip ahead unless anything massive happens back for the first game of our career and of our manager's tenure at Spotlight Varna. See you in a bit. Right, we're here for the game against Ludgoret and I just want to show you um, the dynamics, you know. So club atmosphere is apparently very good, um, which is good to say, so we might win. However, team cohesion is quite very poor, so we might lose because of that. And the Mel Algeria support is very poor. It was worse. It was like probably in the red zone when I looked first looked. Um, but then of course we had the team meeting, introducing myself to the squad, and a bit more people are happy with me. I would assume hierarchy into uh, yeah, all that was n everyone opposed with me. Uh, uh, Savov, Georgiev, Nistunov, and Borisov all opposed me alongside everyone else. So it has got better since then, which is good to see, because <laughs> one few bit of bad results and they'll all turn on me. That is really poor. We we also, in terms of finances, notice that they're only 2000 in that. Um, but we are spending 300 over our wage budget. I will do that for the, before we start, um, just to see if they will actually accept it. <laughs> but the team going into this game. First game in charge. I've just literally just done selection advice and just accepted it and just seen who are the best players and just everyone's been kept from the selection advice apart from Selestov Nistarov, our goalkeeper, who I think he's better than the others. Um just because he's well, he's young, um he can do quite well. Uh and get good potential ability wise. But yeah, he's in goal. Perev, Borisov, and Alberto Lugo are the defenders. Isuf and Mitev are the wing backs. Uh, Daniel Nechev and uh, Yancho uh, Andreev are the midfielders. We've got Mehmed Mehmed on the right wing and Dylan George on the left. And Ivan Kolev up front, who's our top goal scorer in the league. So we've got to do well. Hopefully, we can win this game. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, since we've got a long time left until the end of the season, uh, I, I don't think we'll get relegated. I really don't, unless the team cohesion is so poor that we just can't string a pass together. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I will do all this stuff. Everyone seems to be motivated, even though I can't speak Bulgarian. Um, they probably got an interpreter for me. I wouldn't know. I've probably got a kick off highlight. I oh, know I haven't. It's probably because it's on. Yeah, uh, the same bug still. They haven't fixed it. Fix it already, SI. So. There we go. Very close to scoring, then. Very close. As I will set it up the way I do like it. Which is basically this, this like that. Uh, XG here. The dugout there. Lakers scores there. And league table there. Uh, and then of course, not Spartak Varna, but Ludogorets. That's how I like my setup on this skin, which is the um, Zealand skin. Uh, the FM Enhanced Zealand skin. Um, I didn't like it at first, the FM Enhanced Zealand skin, but then they upgraded it uh, on the 11th or the 12th or something, and I do prefer it now than all the other skins. Um, so that's good. I've got to do good here. Um, if strings pass together, and now Kostadov and if blah blah blah, Kostadinov was open and hit the post. Uh, could have done better then, could have done better. Uh, I will do some encouragement. Hello with Nachev. Crosses it in. Goalkeeper Rusanov does have hold, hold, hold it. <laughs> really missing my word then. As Penev is on the ball. 
Jefferson Andreev, George, go past Kokev, who's tackled. Mitev does pick it up though and crosses it in, and Kokev's header shot is just wide, just over the bar. I think we've been playing so far so good. Um, as Natrev shoots. Goalkeeper could have done better then for that. I thought it was going in. I thought he'd, he'd hit, saved it, and then it was still going in, but apparently not. This corner is a waste. Uh, I will do some bit more encouragement. Everyone seems to be pleased, which is good to see. As our Berto Lugo's on the ball, going on, on a bit of a run, gives it to George on the left wing. Gives it back to our Berto Lugo to Andreev. Oh, it's George. Mitev could cross it in, but he doesn't go. Um, we need a bit more people in the box, a bit more attacking oomph. It's Kokev is free. And he scores. Ivan Ko Kolev. Not Kokev, Lolev. Kolev. I'm reading it as Kokev. Ivan Kolev scores for Spartak Varna in our first goal with the club. Hopefully, of a successful career in management and a successful career with Spartak Varna. So that was one nil up at half time. I'll say things are going well. I know you're capable of even better though. And that does take us to 13th currently. Could get another goal here with Nachav. Also crosses it in, it's blocked by Georgiev. Nachav gives it to Kolev. Now Mehmed's open, shoots, it's saved by the goalkeeper. Do you cross it in again and Mehmed does that to him to get his goal. And that's his sixth goal of the season. First goal for us in our tenure, of course. Um, good save in the end by Rusnov there, but George sees Mitov gives the, gets the ball in for him. Mitov gets the ball into uh, the box. That was a really good header by Mehmed. Goalkeeper could have done better there. A possible offside, I would take it as it wasn't. I'd say his foot was just off on uh, in the box. Not offside, it was the man was keeping him on just about, but very tight. As Corny doing quite well, 2 0 up. Gotta be careful that we don't need complacency, like. Uh, as Judge Over is open, shoots, could save by Nistorov. He wasn't had much to do, to be fair. But still got a 7.9. I will look at making a change now. Um, uh, Daniel Nachev is a bit tired. He's asking me to put Tereston uh, Ilyev on, so I will. And Mehmed Mehmed can come off for Babaliv. Uh, I think Babaliv, uh, Babaliv is a youngster. Um, yes, he is. Let's give him a bit of game time, see how good he can actually get. Um, but I've got a highlight here that we're going to defend, and we don't. Dimitrov Mikhtov scores for Lugodogorets 2. It's 2 1 now, and we've got to be a bit more careful. Very good free kick, and De Mitev, the defender for us, could have done a lot better then, but he didn't. And it's fortunate that we concede. I will make a sub now, the last sub of the game. Um, Penev can come off. Actually, we haven't got a defender, so we can't do that. Hmm. Let's take Kolev off and let's give Mitrov a chance up front. Just a bit more extra uh, speed and attack, hopefully. That would, if we do a break, we get another goal. But it looks like it's just going to be full time, which is, and it's a two-one victory. Uh, outstretched arms, very well done. No one was happy because I didn't, didn't know what I was saying, I don't think. That does take us to 13th now. Uh, three points ahead of 17th place, um, Sozopol. And as well as Liktek Slovec and Svumsko Slava. Um, CSK 1948 looking dead and buried. You know, it's the second team, so it might very well be dead and buried. First team. Never heard of, to be fair. Uh, they're not doing well in the actual league as well. Um, 
We're not sure that it would benefit the team right now. It would die. Uh, I would like to give my strength. Uh, this one do. Clear this is an issue because it's too hard and we continue to vision that's causes impressive. Our first consideration. Hey, I'm getting a coaching course. Okay, it's cool help. A bit of a sweater. Uh, that'll give us give us our determination a bit of uh, increasing. Yeah, we're going on our first coach course national C license. Hopefully that'll take us to about half or three quarter star. And uh, that'll be really good. Good start to our career. We'll get a coach course and uh, we also get a win in our first game. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. If you have enjoyed this series uh, and so far, please give it a like. Like I said, it does help the channel out and it gets it to more people. If you are one of those new people who has, uh, who might have got shared through word of mouth or through uh, email or through social media or just randomly viewing the channel, you can subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and all you do is get good content in return. Hopefully. Uh, you can also hit the push and uh, the notification bell uh, for push notifications so we'll never miss an upload for when I do upload FM22 content, whatever that content may be. Now I do also have a description in the description a link to a second channel. Like I said, I haven't uploaded uh, like I said a few episodes. Ago, I haven't uploaded any videos right now, but I'm trying to get into the habit of uploading and recording. Uh, I don't know how it will go. Hopefully, it will go well. So you can subscribe to that. Uh, even though I haven't got any videos up yet, um, basically just check it out and see how we do on there. Uh, it's just backup channel, uh, so I can play a bit more random games that isn't FM related a bit like when I started the channel up and it was like just a load of random games all at once and then I just switched to FM because it was more popular and I was enjoying it more than all the other games but yeah uh, you can also check out socials like Twitter, Facebook, uh, t Instagram and TikTok and also check out Twitch where I do stream Monday, Wednesday and Friday with FM and trying to stream Tuesday and Thursday with a random game but it depends on how busy I actually am so don't guarantee streams on Tuesday and Thursdays to be fair. Anyway, I've been Matthew Austin and Summer Hex. I'll see you all next time. Hex signing out. Bye everybody.